Today, the streetcar wheels are rolling on the H Street corridor. This is the first day of simulated service, which means the cars are running on schedule but without passengers. The streetcar runs from Union Station to Benning Road. Sam Ford is live in uh, Northeast with uh, what's next for this project. Sam? Well, Maureen, the next step should be to allow passengers. You may recall in uh, 2011, DDOT was saying that the system would get underway in the summer of 2013. Then that became the spring of 2014. Now in the fall of 2014, DDOT can only say soon. There were no passengers aboard, but the streetcars along H Street and Benning Road made their stops on average every 10 minutes to simulate what they will do when regular service gets started someday. Everyone's anxious to ride it. We're just waiting for them to let us ride it. The start date keeps getting pushed back. Now all DDOT, which manages the program, will say is before the end of the year. It's going to be absolutely great for H Street. It's cool. Though. I like it. But getting used to it. Tow truck operators with ticket books make rounds up and down, ready to tow away any vehicle that would block the streetcar's path. Some folks absolutely do not like the streetcars. I think the whole idea is a total waste of money. Uh, Two hundred million dollars, they could have done something a whole lot better with it. At Brown Middle School, one of 12 schools along the streetcar route, federal and local transportation officials came to greet groups of kids. We want to talk to you today about safety because that's our number one priority. The concern is that children will have to maneuver through yet another type of vehicle on the street. The words are walk, listen, and be safe around streetcars. They also told the kids to stay off bicycles around them. The wheels could get caught between the rails. Now, rapid transit, this is not. In Portland, Oregon, which has a similar system, the Oregonian newspaper decided to launch a bit called a race between one reporter on the streetcar and another reporter on foot. And in that race, at least, the reporter on foot reached the destination first. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.